Attack plus 178% and defense plus. All right, so earlier this morning, we got the details and animations for the upcoming Dokkan Fest Fizz Raditz and his side unit, which is this STR Nappa. So in today's video, we're going to be checking everything out to find out how good these guys actually are. Okay, now before we get into their kits, let's start with their animations. Here we go. So I'm going to pause my own music and enjoy guys. Okay, so <clears throat> there you go. Those are the animations for the uh, upcoming Raditz and Nappa. And um, they're not bad. They're not bad. Now, I gotta be honest, there's nothing about these animations that make me go, oh my god, I have to have these units. You know, like the way I felt when I saw Majin Vegeta's animations, or when I saw the, you know, obviously anniversary uh, LR animations, or anything like that. And it was to be expected. It's not really a surprise. At the end of the day, there's not really that much source material for them to pull from when it comes to Raditz and Nappa. And uh, I think most of us can agree they're not the most hype characters from the franchise, right? So it's nice that uh, Raditz specifically is getting some love with this Dokkan Festival unit, but um, you know, all those things considered, they did a pretty good job. They did a pretty good job. It's, it's clean, the animations look good. They're just not exactly hype, in my opinion. Of course, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about them. But uh, one of my favorite part of these animations is the side unit, the Nappa with the <laughs> Cybermen. Um, I think that is not a great sign. But overall, overall, I would give this like a 7 out of 10. For Raditz specifically, 7 out of 10, I think, is fair for his animations. So there you go. Not bad. Not amazing. Just good. Okay, now moving on to the details for these guys, which I have not seen yet. And a big shout out and thank you to Minato's Flash on Twitter for providing us with these translations. We're starting here with the Dokkan Fest Raditz first, whose leader skill is uh, Saiyan Saga or Pure Saiyans. Category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30% for characters who also belong in the space traveling warriors category. Okay, so I was not expecting pure Saiyans from Raditz. I thought maybe low class warriors or Goku's family, possibly, but Pure Saiyans is a nice surprise, especially because, in effect, this guy can be a 200% leader skill, or leader, for Pure Saiyans. You know, specific Pure Saiyans, like uh, Bardock, Raditz, uh, Nappa, Vegeta, um, who else am I forgetting? Maybe a couple more. So it's fairly limited in terms of like which Pure Saiyans units can get this 200% leader skill. But at the very least, he's as good of a Pure Saiyans lead 
as the AGL SSB Vegeta, and for some units, for some Pure Saiyans, he's much better. 200% for Pure Saiyans. That's crazy. That's crazy. So very good leader skill. Very, very good leader skill. Saiyan Saga is not a surprise. That's what I was expecting from the start. So there you go. Uh, super attack effect is greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage to all enemies. Hold on. I think this was actually a mistranslation. I saw somewhere else that um, it's supposed to be supreme. So yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but... I'm pretty sure it's greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage to all enemies, which is a bit disappointing because supreme damage obviously as a multiplier is quite a bit lower than immense and that's going to mean he's going to hit, you know, less hard than he could if he had the immense damage multiplier, right? But uh, greatly raises attack and defense is good. And then passive is attack and defense plus 150% when facing one enemy, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack, okay? And when enemy's HP is 50% or less, further 100% attack when performing a super attack and gains a high chance to perform a critical hit. Okay, hold on. So let me just take this in. He's getting 150% for attack and defense to start. And then if you're facing one enemy, you get the additional 50% for attack and defense on the super. And then if the enemy is 50% HP or lower, then you get the additional attack plus 100% uh, when supering and high chance to create, which is 50%. Okay, cool. And then when facing two or more enemies, plus an additional defense plus 150% and performs a critical hit within the same turn, after receiving an attack, he plus two when delivering the final blow. Okay, so uh, interesting passive, interesting passive. Um, from what I can gather, so he's gonna be very good offensively when facing only one enemy, and then really good defensively when facing multiple enemies. So, for example, like Super Battle Road. Or something like that. And then on Super Battle Road, actually, there are stages, especially the final stage, where there's only one enemy. So even on Super Battle Road, he can be very good offensively if you're facing just the one final boss or if you killed all the other enemies and there's only one enemy left, right? So um, he's got some, you know, flexibility there, I guess, in his kit. Uh, it looks like he's going to be quite good for uh, Super Battle Road stages. Extreme Super Battle Road, right? Because the additional 150% defense is going to make him very tanky, especially because he's greatly raising attack and defense on his super attack. And he's also uh, getting guaranteed crits after he receives an attack against two or more enemies. So that's going to help him hit a lot harder. Uh, an additional super would have been nice, honestly. Yeah. Like, a, even a medium chance for an initial super attack, I think, would have actually helped him a lot. But he looks like he's going to be good, just not, like, as as broken as you would have expected from a Dokkan Fest Raditz, right? I mean, just based on the trend, look at Ginyu, look at Fidel, look at these, like, characters that are, like, more minor characters from the franchise that got really broken units because... They're minor characters, so they want people to summon, and that's why they made them so OP, right? Uh, this guy is good, just not as good as you would have expected, I think. He's not as busted as you would have hoped from a Dokkan Fest Raditz. So I think that's why I've been seeing some negativity about this unit um, out there recently. You know, like I haven't seen, or I hadn't seen the, the passive before this, but... Uh, I just saw people kind of calling him Baditz. Uh, that's a popular one, Baditz with a B in the front instead of R. And uh, I didn't really understand why. And I don't think he's bad. I don't think he's bad. I think he has good utility. I just think that he could have been better. All things considered, I think he could have been better. But once again, this is, you know, on paper details. We can't really say for sure unless we see the... Uh, performance in game so i'm gonna withhold any 
negative comments for the time being, but he just doesn't seem as good as I was maybe hoping for or expecting, you know? Uh, he does have an active skill, which can be activated after receiving three or more attacks during battle, uh, which is not bad, and there's only one enemy, once only. Okay. Uh, greatly raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage, and stuns the attacked enemy for one turn. Oh, okay, so... Uh, there is the stun. Uh, there's no stun on the super attack, though, or the passive, which is disappointing. Considering he seems to be a unit made for Super Battle Road, so having a chance to stun uh, regularly is important, right? So he doesn't have that, but he does have the stun on the active skill, the guaranteed stun. And then links are Saiyan Lineage, uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, Coward, Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Low Class Warrior, Your Saiyans, Goku's Family, Terrifying Conqueror, Space Family Warriors, and Saiyan Saga. Okay, um... I think the best part of this Raditz is his leader skill. I think his leader skill is definitely his highlight. <laughs> Aside from that, he's going to be a good, really good unit for Super Battle Road. Um, and, you know, in, in like single target enemy events, he's going to be, he's going to hit pretty hard, I think, especially when they're below 50% HP. I mean, that additional 100% attack is going to make a big difference. Uh, the active skill should do some good damage. Um, he just doesn't seem really that special in, in any way, you know? Like, that's kind of my, my issue with this, this design at the moment. But it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Once again, we need to see him in action in the game to really get a full feel for what he can do. But his leader skill is really good. <laughs> that's a really good leader skill. Now, moving on to the side unit Nappa. Uh, leader skill is Saiyan Saga, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, super attack effect is greatly raises defense for one turn and causes uh, uh, supreme damage, and then passive is attack plus 178%, and defense plus... Defense plus 780%? What? <laughs> Hold on. Attack plus 178, okay, fine. Defense plus 780% based on HP remaining. The more HP remaining, the greater the defense boost. So you're telling me this guy's getting 780% defense at full HP? Okay. That is gonna be interesting to see just how much defense he has. Um, at rainbow status, you know, on like a 200% team led by double Raditz. That's going to be interesting. Uh, additional attack plus 78% when there is one enemy. Saiyan Saga, category allies, keep plus 2 and attack and defense plus 30%. And an additional 7% attack and defense plus 8% for each super class enemy. Um, are those together or separate? I'm not really understanding this. So you're telling me he's getting up to... No. They must be separate. That can't be part of the support, right? The additional attack and defense can't be part of the support. Because if I'm understanding this correctly, if you're facing like five super class enemies, then he's giving 35% more attack and 40% more defense for his support, which would mean he'd be like a 65% attack and 70% defense support for Saiyan Saga. That'd be kind of crazy. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm understanding this. Maybe it's just a boost to himself, right? Maybe he just gets the attack and defense plus 7% and 8% respectively, you know, for himself, not for the support part. But if it's for the support part, that is crazy. I mean, of course, like, you know, like it's, it's only crazy on Super Battle Road when you're facing a bunch of enemies, right? But still, um, that's... That would be, that'd be kind of wild. <laughs> that'd be kind of wild. Okay, um, active seal conditions can be activated when there are three or more enemies or after receiving six or more attacks during battle once only, and it causes ultimate damage and attacked enemies attack minus 31% and defense minus 81%. Uh, and seal super attack for one turn. Links, brutal beatdown, Saiyan warrior race, infighter, berserker, tough as nails, shocking speed, and fierce battle. 
In categories are Saiyan Saga, Pure Saiyans, Terrifying Conquerors, and Space Traveling Warriors. Okay, this Nappa is really interesting. He's very, very interesting. 780% defense is nuts. Of course, it's HP based, so if you happen to take a lot of damage on a different turn or another unit gets supered, he will be losing a good chunk of that defense. But still, this is, I think, the biggest boost for attack or defense we've ever seen in this game up to this point. And I'm really curious to see just how good he is defensively when he um, is at full HP or somewhere close to full HP. And he also raises, greatly raises defense on a super attack. So after he supers, he's going to be even more tanky. And then there's the support part, the support side, which we're not even talking about. Um, like potentially gives, you know, another like 70% defense, right? So yeah, he's he's just a crazy tank, I think. Um, it's going to be fun to see what he can do defensively. I think offensively he'll be fine. He'll get like a couple mil for his attack stat, but nothing special. But defensively, that's where he uh, should really shine. So um, yeah, that is the Nappa. The Raditz uh, at this point right now seems a little bit disappointing just for what our expectations of him were you know going in so maybe that's our fault as opposed to the raditz fault but i just think he could have been better than what we have here but we'll see we'll see anyways guys that's gonna do it for today's video thank you so much for watching uh feel free to leave your opinions about both these units in the comments and uh you know hopefully I'm wrong about the Raditz, and he's actually amazing. But right now, he just seems like he's pretty good. And we'll see how he actually performs when he comes out. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, yeah, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.